And one thing that I'm realizing is like, some people are just comfortable where they are and happy with that. They're scared of taking a risk, but surely you're scared of not taking a risk and being stuck in the same situation day after day. Do you know what I know? Last night was pretty rough. And I am back. How you doing, guys? What is up? Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday, or whatever day you are watching this on. Um, for me, it's a Saturday. Um, I know it sounds like narcissistic, but I went and searched my own channel um, and watched a few of my old videos that come up when you when you type Bluezy Twenty One in, and I I don't know. Like I realised I'm actually better than I give myself credit for at doing this. I've done so many videos over the years, uh, like a long, long time I've been on there. And I've, I, I don't know, I've lost, I thought, I felt like I'd lost touch um, a bit on YouTube, I don't know. But I haven't. It's just, I don't know, the life has got in the way and like the last two years have been bloody annoying for everyone. And I, I can't be letting that affect me on YouTube or the way I am as a person. Even if it, I mean, it does at times. Um, but I don't want it to change what I do on YouTube and how I make people feel. Like, I don't know, there's, there's good things that are going on in the world. Well, it's never great, is it? But like, yeah, we had a, a, a lot of wind yesterday, a bad storm. And people just going on about that all day. And I mean, well, at least it's that, not like, well, there's a war, a potential war in Russia and Ukraine, but like, I don't know, like, it's different to when I first started YouTube to now, the way I'm treating it. Because um, you've got to believe you're already successful or like, not already, but like, believe that you can get there. Otherwise, you'll never even bother. Like, if I didn't think I had the chance, I wouldn't even like attempt YouTube. But here I am, and I got a different camera angle today, which I used in older vlogs and videos that just seemed to work. And in my last podcast, the sound was terrible, and I hated the fact that that happened. I didn't like the, the lighting, so I thought, go back to my room. Um, you know, things that I've been good at from the beginning, like getting the lighting right and the sound. I've always had times where I messed them up, but overall I know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, welcome back to podcast 14. And yeah, like I said the other time, our cat passed away. We got like an urn with her ashes. Um, didn't think they did that, but they do nowadays. But I felt bad because we didn't have that done for our other cat, um, which is a shame. But yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Like animals are part of the family. It, it's not a nice thing. And we're all really upset, rightly so, because, like, it's an innocent animal. Never did anyone any harm. Like, certain people in the world that don't deserve good things, when it comes to animals, they all, you know, it's sad, but, yeah. I don't know if we're going to get another animal or a pet. We'll see. Um, but there was a new documentary on Netflix all about Kanye West and his story growing up um, and you know love him or hate him he's there you know it's a bit like the Neymar thing love him or hate him he's still doing what he's doing but Kanye is more of a political there's more political side to him there's a fun side there's a side where people think he's just an idiot but he's actually really intelligent under it all um, and yeah he's no longer with Kim Kardashian but I feel like if not for him, she wouldn't be as famous as she is now. Yeah, well done with your show, Kim Kardashian, who cares? Like, yeah, your family's on TV. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to criticise anyone, but like, yeah. No, I'm, I'm a fan of Kanye West. Um, obviously, the music, yeah. And just the way he breaks the rules. Like, rules are made to be broken, and he proves that. And uh, respect, because... I, I like that idea that you don't just follow the rules 
and jump in, in line. Because who wants to do that? I mean, I'm not saying going around shoplifting is okay. But I don't mean that. I mean, like, make your own path. Don't follow everyone else. And that's like a, it's a message for life. Like, and one thing I'm realizing is like, some people are just comfortable where they are and happy with that. They're scared of taking a risk, but surely you're scared of not taking a risk and being stuck in the same situation day after day, which can get you down. And I've been stuck in a bit of a cycle because I haven't been able to go out as normal. And yeah, you think, okay, yeah, there's le less um, restrictions. Surely you can. I can, but like part of it is risk. It's different to what I'm saying about taking a risk in life, like when it comes to careers and stuff. But when it comes to my health, like now, nah, I'm not bothering and taking that risk. And yeah, I got to change something. I have, I've been making more content or trying to the last week or so because I wasn't feeling too proud of myself early in the week. I don't know, like just a bit down, like fed up for the same things. So I thought, let me just do what I do best, make content. And I felt better straight away. You upload the video, it's like, yes. Like that feeling when you upload the video, unless you upload, you won't know what it's like. It's like the relief. And that's every time. But like something that you get stressed about in some ways keeps you going. Like when you think, oh, like say someone who goes to gym, oh, tomorrow I've got to do leg day. Leg day is going to be knackering. I'm going to be knackered after. But, you know, that's what, life's about it's like doing something difficult going through the struggle um because you know overall it's actually better for you and uh, that's like the outlook i have on some things like oh i've got to edit this video i don't say that because i quite enjoy editing and putting my personality into a video or how i'm feeling that day or like, you know through the editing i speak to you or you see parts of me, I guess. Or it's just gibberish and I'm some random kid on YouTube. Kid? Not kid, but... Nobody would guess I was 28. A lot of people are like, are you 28? Really? 28? I don't know why I did that high-pitched voice. Voice. I'm always mixing up words. part of who I am but like, I could just edit that bit out but why because it, it, it's reality <laughs> um I went through a phase where I was trying to be perfect but you can't be perfect like in my last video I messed up the sound weren't good the lighting weren't good but I thought that but maybe someone else might not and apologies if you did watch the intro of my last podcast put the volume up high and then my um, what's it called? My like Louise 21 intro bit with the music comes on and it's super loud. I've got to sort out the volume on that. But yeah, this is two days later and I'm talking again because I, I just feel like it helps. But anyway, back to like taking risks and stuff and like I feel like it took me a while to realize that I could just be on YouTube. Like, it took me a while to decide to just upload and make a video. Uh, thanks to people like Casey Neistat and um, sadly Jake Paul. I got ideas of jumping in front of a camera, telling my story. Um, you know, the trying to keep it positive though. Um, I feel like you need you you got you got to be sincere you got to smile a bit because some videos i would just realize i wasn't smiling enough uh maybe i still do it sometimes like i don't know like depends what you're talking about i guess but like you got to be a bit upbeat even if things are difficult i know a lot of youtubers have like two personas but i try not to i kind of i probably swear less on youtube i kind of a bit more well spoken when I talk to you guys. Depends what environment I'm in. If I'm on a vlog, oh, I like doing this kind of podcast. 
Um, but no, I mean, you should try it if you want to tell your story. But now you've got TikTok and Instagram and other places to just talk. And the whole, like, doing Instagram Live or live on t Twitter. Twitter? No, I mean Twitch. No. Well, Twitch or TikTok or whatever it is. I don't know about that. Like, go go live on TikTok, okay. Talk in this kind of format. Or just about random stuff, but like, I don't know. I've done that in the past on Instagram, but I do a podcast anyway, so it would just me be me repeating what I said here in some ways. But then it's more of a conversation. But I need more followers on TikTok for that. Um, no, but he's addictive, TikTok. And I was on Vine before that, made a lot of funny videos. I do a few on TikTok. If I get the right sound bite, the right kind of funny clip, I might do a, do a voiceover. But it's different to being on, on YouTube. Um, of course, I do the gaming videos, the live streams while playing GTA or FIFA or Fortnite. But that's kind of different content, really. Um, but yeah, even if you don't like the games, you might even enjoy it. Or maybe not because you won't get what's going on. But some of the banter is just ridiculous between us lot on Fortnite or GTA. I'm just getting all sorts of trouble. Um, some of it, deliberately, some of it just randomly. Um, no, this is pretty random sometimes. Or we, do, we just act up on purpose, but we're always having beef on, on, on the online, that is, with all my friends um, who, like I said many times, got me through lockdown, I got them through lockdown, and <laughs> we're all grateful for it, even if we just rip each other to pieces with abuse when we're online. That, that's what good friends are for. That's how they, they're your real friends. friends. If you're being nice to someone and polite, they're not your real friend. Hi, how are you? Nah. How's the weather? Nah, nah. What do you mean, how's the weather? I don't ask any of my friends how the weather is. Nah, that's not, nah. That's an acquaintance. And a lot of those. And they're not fun. But I think during this whole lockdown, you, people learn about themselves. They learn a lot. Some people are happy to be alone. Some people not so much. I, I like company. I like socialising. But I can cope being alone. Like it's, The older you get, the more you realise like you've got to have to spend time on your own. And you, Some people are desperate for attention. Desperate to always hang out, party and whatever. Like they're partying, but they're still depressed. Like, what are you celebrating them when you're partying? You're partying for what? To forget about all your troubles that were probably caused by you being out more than you should. I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to decline a party or a drink. But now, as you get older, you learn like it's okay if you're chilling on your own. If you get on with yourself. If you don't like yourself and you can't stand yourself, you can't stand to be in the room with yourself, then you've got problems. And take it or leave it, you know. You got you gotta love who you are, even even the 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 flaws, because they're part of you. Maybe you can improve on them and get rid of some of them, but they're always there. Because perfection is imperfection. You know, that's the authentic you. Like, no one's perfect, so trying to be is just pointless. Just being you and being real is the best you can do. So well done for if you're doing that. Uh, and I know it's difficult. I've had time, but it's difficult. I'm getting a phone call. And this is what you get for having friends. They phone you every five minutes. Um, thank God I got on silent. And you can probably hear that. Yep, thank God. He gave up. <laughs> oh my God. Can't get a moment's peace. <laughs> Talking about spending time alone. 
I can't. I haven't got time to make a video anymore. But I feel like I'm more relaxed about the whole YouTube because two or three years ago I'd be like intense trying to film two or three videos and then edit one during the same day. Like, slow down. And I have slowed down with it. And probably lockdowns caused it and that whole pandemic like slowed down my process. But I want to get back to it on some levels. But another part of me thinks, what, why this rush? Take your time. Do it with calm. And then you might make less mistakes. Yeah, you can still make mistakes, but I think it's better to be calm about things. Um, and I've learned that in power chair football as well. As, as a more experienced player, to always be like hyperactive and chase the ball like a five-year-old. Like when five-year-olds play, to all chase the ball. It's not the way you always want to play the game. You've got to use your space uh, wisely, you know. Um, and communicate with your teammates. Um, no, it's different to YouTube, but like, I've learned a lot in the sport about life, about people. There's different ways to approach everything. There's the aggressive side that can sometimes work or it can bite you in the back um, and you get countered against it. And the other team score, I don't know what kind of analogy I'm trying to make here. But there's different ways. The more relaxed approach, tactical, you know. Um, that's the approach I like to take. And maybe at the moment I'm not playing at my best. I admit that. I'm the first to admit that. I've not been training enough. Uh, whether I've been ill or not, it's, it's still not enough training. I'm going to get back to it, score some goals. Because earlier in the season I did. And I felt really good about myself at that point. If you one goal could change your whole outlook on a weekend of football. On the whole, well, on how I was feeling before that. And I'm always nervous before a game, but excited nervous. Like when I'm uploading a video, I'm excited but nervous at the same time. But then relieved when it comes out. And yeah, football is a huge part of my life and meeting those players in Italy only made it more important. Like regardless if, if I'm playing or not, I still want to be involved in the sport always. I, I don't want to retire. I'm not even thinking about that. Though, when I have a shitty game, I get fed up and all the thoughts run, run through your mind. And then I fight them off. And then, you know, in hindsight, you look back and go, okay, I was overreacting. But yeah, I mean, you got I got to fight for my teammates a bit more, have that, that grit and determination as a team that we've been lacking. And you'll have that in life too. You know, they talk about strong people or weak people in terms of mentally or not not physically. Uh, physically, yeah, well, we know about me there. Uh, but no, mentally, like, weak is like, and cowardly is like the people who expect others to do the work for them. That's what I mean by weak. Weak, weak in the sense that you don't want to work, for your, work um, on yourself or like, do things for yourself. Not in terms of lazy, but like you're avoiding the hard work. That's what I mean by a weak person. Because the the bravest man is the one that does a nine to five, comes home to the kids and the wife. And you know, there's a famous line from uh, The Godfather Part One, uh, where it's like, a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. Um, and it's kind of true, like, if you're not making time for your family, what are you doing? And I know that kind of steers away from what I'm talking about a bit, but responsibility. It, it, it make, it's brave people take responsibility, even when things are going not so good. He's phoning me again. It's not one o'clock yet, mate. Jesus Christ. This kid, man. But yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm in a good place. Obviously, you got your moments. You can't always be happy. But don't I, 
can't even say that nowadays because what we're doing is jinxing it. Just jinxing and then something bad comes. <laughs> well, I've said it now, bloody hell. But yeah, guys, it's been the shorter podcast. Um, I don't need to do an hour and a half. I used to do an hour and a half of this. How? Am I mad? What was I saying for an hour and a half? But yeah, I want to tell more like stories about my younger days on here. Like funny stories from my childhood and stuff. Um, I was gonna I was gonna make a segment called Story Time, but that sounds a bit a bit like a five year old thing, at a bloody nursery. So I'm not doing that. I'll just add it to the podcast. Um, but yeah, enough of this beautiful face. I'll see you, lovely people, soon. Take it easy. Stay up. Stay humble. Uh, don't be a weak-minded person. Um, you know, take it easy, fam. That is it for me. Peace. That's how I used to. Do, I used to proper, proper shout peace. See you. Alright, I'm out.